today's Comics and Coffee, we will be reading from Little Jinx, Giant number 223, an Archie Giant series magazine. A bunch of fun little short stories and stuff in here. Gotta always have the advertisement. Of the bully that would kick sand in the little guy's face on the beach, and he'd go get hulked up, come back and kick the bully's butt. <laughs> Starting out, we got Little Jinx, Mystery of the Ghost of Grey Wolf. Hee <laughs> hee. Phew! I'm almost ready to give up looking for Little Jinx. Boy. She's a genius at playing hide-and-seek. What the... Got some type of piece of paper falling down in between them. A candy wrapper? Aha! There you are, little jinx. I found you, little jinx. Aw, you never would have, GG. But a kid gets awful hungry sitting up there so long. You were gone a long time. I sure was. So what's new in camp? Well, a few things. Guess who is the blueberry pie champ? Charlie Haas, of course. You are so right, little jinx. <laughs> Greg won the track meet and is champ. Tomorrow they're going to hold some more games. Little jinx, I'll bet you could be hide and seek champ. Got any good hiding places besides the totem pole? Ooh. I've got one or two. Hey, look at bon... Look, a bonfire tonight. And they're going to tell ghost stories. So they're all sitting around the fire. I'm guessing the camp leader's going to be doing some... Ghost story reading here. Yeah. Waga woo. The wolf cry was heard echoing through these hills. It was an Indian brave. Gray wolf signaling Princess Running Water to meet him. As the princess came upon the scene, she saw him fighting with braves from her father. Chief Black Cloud's tribe. The chief never liked Grey Wolf and warmed him, warned him never to see his daughter. Well, Grey Wolf was tired, tied up and dragged back to the camp. They tossed him into a tent until the chief decided what to do to him, and it wasn't anything good. But Grey Wolf managed to escape. Not even the best trackers could find any trace of him. It was as if the mountain had swallowed him up. And since then, from time to time, his ghost is heard signaling to the princess. Ah, uh, I don't believe in ghosts. Ah, uh, What did you say now? I, I, I believe. Next day, got a bunch of kids playing hide and seek. Okay, it's hide and seek time. They'll have it. <laughs> They'll have it rough finding me. This rowboat is a good hiding place. <laughs> 
later on. It's getting dark out. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. Uh-oh. The boat has broken loose and is drifting downstream. What the? I must have dozed off. I'll bet they're tired of looking for me. Huh? This isn't my camp. The boat must have drifted. Where am I? Uh-oh. There goes the rowboat. Now I'm alone. Here. Wherever that is. Ooh. Ooh. I'm lost. And she hears a crack in the woods. What is that? Whatever it is, I'm not going to stick around to find out. Help, I'm falling. As she falls in a hole. Probably going to Wonderland. And it is continued there. Which, I don't know why they always did the continued, just because there was an advertisement with all these fun gadgets and toys that you could get back in the day. So I got all these. Had the Wicked Agent, agent the Secret Agent Spy Cam. Tiny little thing. Fun. I <laughs> never really did much with, the, I think we developed one set of pictures out of it. But, yeah, I can't quite remember how that all worked. Had a bloody finger, the trick cards, magic soaps, the whoopee cushions, of course, the red mouth gum, which we had the gum that burned your mouth. Oh yeah, the hot pepper gum, there we go. Potato gun was one of the favorite toys to play with. You shove that thing into the potato, get a little piece of potato and shoot it off. But yeah. <laughs> All kinds of fun gadgets you could pick up for cheap, and they didn't work. <laughs> Where am I? Looks like a tunnel. Oh, yeah! That sounds like the ghost of Grey Wolf. There's a light up ahead, and she sees the other escape. From the tunnel. Oh. Well. I'll be. There's camp. What a ruckus. Wow. Yippee. Hooray. <laughs> I'll bet Grey Wolf escaped through this tunnel. And the wind blowing through it makes the ghost sounds. Hi gang. Little Jinx. We gave up looking for you a long time ago. You are the hide and seek champ. I was going a long I was gone a long time. Did I miss anything? You bet you missed the excitement. Our ghost has been acting funny. It was yelling some crazy things. The ghost kept yelling yippee and hooray. Yeah, little jinx, you sure missed it. <laughs> I don't, I didn't miss it. I was it. <laughs> she was the ghost all along. Hey, all the old iron-on transfers you could buy for your t-shirts that after about three drying's in the dryer, they'd either stick together if you put them in, up inside out or they'd gradually just start to wear pieces off them. An actual maze puzzle that's not done for once. Usually almost every time I get one of these old books, the maze is done up on here. Got a little... Well, we could read this. This might be fun. Jinx is re sending a note to her pops. Dear Daddy... Boy, it's raining buckets today. That's why I have time to sit down and write you. We're stuck in the bunk anyhow. What a funny camp. They make us shower every day. 
but won't let us out to have fun in the rain, because we'll get wet. I want to finish writing this quick so I won't miss the excitement. Our counselor says if she has to stay with us much longer, she's going to climb the walls. Sounds like a good trick. I don't want to miss seeing. They have a point system here at camp, water ruckus, for making beds, finishing our food, cleaning up, brushing teeth, etc. So far, I owe nine points. <laughs> wow, it's raining even harder than before. Oops, I almost forgot to tell you some good news. We held a raffle and I won. I get to sleep in the bed under the spot where the roof leaks. <laughs> Which reminds me, could you send me my yellow raincoat? Hurry, and send it fast. Greg's parents were here to visit him yesterday. Greg gave them a box to take home with seven garter snakes inside. <laughs> One of them is mine. Please make sure you get it in case they forget. We're having a birthday party right now for Choo Choo. The camp made her a swell cake. A real gooey one. Oops, a piece just missed my head, but I got a bullseye on Gigi. Uh-oh, the bunk is getting to be fun, even though we're stuck inside. Oops, there goes another piece of cake. Wow, this is getting to be a real good party. Sorry, I have to end now. I think our counselor is going to do that trick I wrote you. Bet she really can't climb the walls. Love, little jinx. <laughs> ah, grass snakes. They were so much fun back in the day. Alright, I got little jinx. Ring the doorbell. Got her. Pops taking a bath. A big bubble bath. Uh, grrr. The doorbell would ring now. Hi, Daddy. Little Jinx. It's like, what's this? If you're in the area, stop at the new Archie's Restaurant on West Jefferson and Ames, Joliet, Illinois. That's where the Blues Brothers are from. <laughs> I just wanted to get my ball. Mmm, a ball. Bye. Hops back in the tub. Dum de dum. Doorbell rings again. Daddy, I wanted. I want to say I'm sorry. I caught you taking a bath. Grrr. He's interrupted again. Not too happy. Later on, he's getting dressed. Doorbell rings. You again. I want my yo-yo. Later. I came for my doll. It comes in the door again. Later, she comes in the door third time. I want a drink of water. Grr, I can't do a thing without our doorbell sounding like a fire alarm. Opens the door again. I want. This is the last time today. I'm going to answer the door for you. The last time. Do you hear? Y y yes, Daddy. Later on, doorbell rings again. That does it. This is the last straw. Don't say a word. March into the house and stand in the corner. And don't leave until I tell you to. Now march. Gee, all I wanted was to find out if little Jinx was home. <laughs> Eep. <laughs> Uh, the old days when they forced us kids out of the house. Didn't care what we were doing as long as we didn't come back until it was nighttime. Uh, I got rock shirts, got some free decals you could get back in the day. Got little jinx in Miss Mist. Wow, look at that doll. It's beautiful. 
Can I get one, Daddy? Can I? Oh, Daddy? He was just walking along with me. Daddy! Daddy! He's gone! Gone! Bumps into something. Little Jinx. Daddy! Where were you? I went into the store and thought you were right behind me. We must have gotten separated. Mmm. I'll bet you got scared and thought you were lost. Lost? Huh. Not me. I'm glad to see you weren't scared but acted big and growing up. Growing up? Is that so? Now let's... <laughs> now let's go home, Jink, little Jinx. Okay, but I'd like you to do me a favor. Er, er, may I hold your hand? Why? To play it safe, so you won't get lost again, Daddy. <laughs> Who won't get lost? Like I said, very strange times back then. They didn't worry too much about us. I always wanted a seven foot Frankenstein. I just thought that was really cool. But seen lots of these other things though. Stupid muscle pulling thing that was useless. Another worthless exercise device. Alright, we got a little jinx and sound off. Yeah, little kid sitting there doing cock a doodle doo. Wow, that sounds just like a rooster. Here's one I do a motorboat. Arr. What a racket! He's driving me crazy. Greg is great, he can imitate anything you ask. Okay. Try doing a jet plane and take off fast. <laughs> Kicking him out the door. Nice little short. Got some Archie sign offs to get some comics. Yeah, these things always crack me up. A hundred little dolls, all for two dollars. Now, those are usually a bunch of little army men or the cowboys and Indians back in the day. Or these dolls and stuff. Uh, they had a thing where they made some newer versions of the army men. With females because there was no female items back in the day. But they actually had these. So don't know if they didn't become popular or what. But I don't remember ever seeing them around. Alright we got little jinx. Now I hear this. Mommy! Mommy! Daddy! And she's like, what's going on? She looks, there's smoke coming out of the stove. Huh? Huh? Mommy! Your cake is burning! Mommy! Your cake is burning! Mommy! Your cake is burning! Huh? Huh? I have no time to listen now. I'm busy. But your cake is burning. Oh, oh, Daddy, Daddy, the cake is burning. Huh? Huh? That's nice. I said the cake is burning. Huh? Huh? Run along and play. Hmm. He didn't hear a word I said. Parents don't seem to hear a thing you say to them. There must be some way to get them to listen to me. Wait, I've got it. She goes running out the door. Quick, Greg, can I use your phone? You bet. Come in. I'll call them and then they'll have to listen to me. 
Dum dum dum. It's ringing. Hello, mommy. Now that I have your undivided attention, I want to tell you. I'm sorry, little jinx. I can't talk to you now. Huh? My cake is burning. <laughs> when she answered the phone, she finally realized her cake was burning. Some karate jujitsu self-defense there you could pick up. All right, we got little jinx and FBI. Craig, Craig, wait up! Huh? Wow, you're a hard man to find. Where have you been? Why? The FBI has been looking high and low for you. The FBI? Yes, your father, brother, and I. <laughs> and it's a little short. We got a few shorts here, the way it looks. We got Little Jinx and Model Model. Little Jinx, what are you doing with all that fruit? I'm going to paint them, Daddy. All artists use fruit as models. Hmm, is that so? Later on, you see her painting away. Little Jinx, what happened to your, uh -huh, models? See a fully eaten apple, an empty bowl of fruit? I ate them. Then how are you going to paint them? From memory. <laughs> yeah, little jinx. Shoe fly. Little jinx. Find out if the newsboy brought our paper. Okay, daddy. It's here. That's not the only thing that is here as a bzzz. Fly goes flying past his face. Came in the house and now is going to be an annoyance to everybody. Don't worry. I'll get rid of the fly. This insect spray should do the trick. Bzzz, chasing him around the house. Spraying the sprit poison all over the house. Hold it, little jinx. Why? I'm trying to get rid of it with this spray. I'd say it's more like you're trying to <clears throat> drown it. Yeah, you see tons of stuff all over the walls, dripping off the walls. Bzzz, still flying around. Huh? Everybody's like, what's up with that? Where's that thing coming from? Grr, you had to let that fly in. Don't get excited, Daddy. I'll get him with this newspaper. Wham! 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 Aha! I got him! Daddy, I did it! There's no more fly! Also, no more newspaper! As she beat the paper all over the place and just destroyed it. Oop! Oh, I'll go buy you another newspaper! I fixed everything. Now Daddy has nothing to get excited about. Zzzz. And she left another fly in when she went out the door. <laughs> Need some beautiful nails? Only a buck twenty-five plus twenty-five cents for shipping. All right, we got another short, couple shorts. No, 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 no. I said go get washed. No, no, no. And she finally goes and washes up. Go change your clothes right now. No, no, no. Finally goes and gets changed. Hmm. Parents would be nice if they weren't always so stubborn. All right. Yeah, little jinx and stop, look, and... Sorry, Greg. I can't come out and pl to play. I'm being punished. What did you do, little jinx? I just said one word. Look! How could that be? 
I came in from playing when I said, Look, Mom, what's that little jinx? I said, Look, as she drops the stack of dishes and they go crashing because little jinx is holding a snake. It's just another grass snake. You're right. I never thought one word could cause so much trouble. <laughs> ah, sea monkeys. Those evil little shrimps. At patches, we used to have a ton of those around the house. Guessing my brothers and sisters must have picked them up. Got little jinx and makes sense. Okay, little jinx, here is your allowance. Yippee! A whole dime? Oh, something wrong? Couldn't you give me pennies instead? It's much better. Much better? How do you figure that? Nobody can hear just a dime in my pocket. <laughs> Won't sound rich unless you got a bunch of money jingling around. All right, you got a little Jinx in Thirst Aid. She's mixing up some lemonade, runs it out to her booth, sets up her little lemonade stand, puts up the sign for lemonade for 10 cents. Later on, hmm, not one customer yet. And she drinks a cup of her own lemonade and just about gags on it. <laughs> Changes her sign to lemonade for one cent. <laughs> That's a better better price back in those days, but not for what she's making. Yeah, yeah, all your little pen pals and stuff you could write in back in the day. Get some longer nails. Some prizes for cash where you had to sell those stupid Christmas cards or comics. Or, there's a variety of things we'd have to sell over the days to get those little things. Yeah, that's it for this Sunday. Starts off a little rougher, gets a little better as the voices go throughout the issue. But yeah, still pretty bad, but it's fun just to check out the old comics from back in the day. So that's it for today. Keep following Under the Cult of MS. Rate, review, subscribe, tell a friend. And we will get back with more of these next week and lots of other videos that you can check out on under the call of ms and definitely check out the group re podcast crimson call comic club and we'll get back to you again soon bye <laughs>